Hi again. Um, we're not doing an informational textbook um, today because I got two books in the mail yesterday and I was just so excited to share them with you that uh, they're just fiction books that I got. Um, this is a book that says, Now That I'm Here by Erin Michon. And I see what looks to be a little boy or a baby and maybe our mom and our dad and that looks like a raccoon or something. I don't know. But now that I'm here, I wonder what this book might be about. Um, if you look on the back cover, I think it's a dog. Um, on the front cover, the dog is covering his eyes like this, so it makes him look like a raccoon. So it's a, it's a dog, and look look what he's doing. He's got a little he's got little um, dolls that he rode on. They look kind of scary. Hmm. I wonder if that dog is trying to draw this little boy or little girl. I'm not sure if it's a boy or a girl. So let's see what this book is about. Before I arrive, mom and dad dreamed of me. So it shows the mom and dad on a playground. And um, it's hard to see, but I think that little dog is sitting between them. And he says, Dreamed of who? Or that's what he's thinking, because this is a thought bubble. So mom and dad dreamed of him before he came. Um, and the dog is thinking, who were they dreaming of? They couldn't wait to meet me. So there, the mom and dad are dreaming of a child. And of course, there's the dog, and he says, meet who? Before me, life was really boring. Excuse me, my nose itches a little bit, guys. Now that I'm here, life is so fun. Ha, ha, ha. So he says, this is what life was before. And look at the dog. He's laying in between the mom and dad. That's how my dog sleeps. And now that the little boy is here, the dog kind of gets bounced around. And he's thinking, ugh. But he's thinking, ha, 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 I'm so much fun. Life is not boring. What do you think the mom and dad are thinking? Hmm. Breakfast used to be super dull. Dull means it was boring. Now, breakfast is so awesome. So, it's showing mom and dad eating breakfast before the little boy came here. So it's showing what they're eating, a croissant and natto. I don't know what natto is. And she has matcha, which maybe is another word for coffee. And he's having espresso. And then you see the little dog right there. And now this is breakfast and with him there. There's a short stack of pancakes, a tall stack of pancakes. And he thinks this is gross. I don't know what it is. Um, and then there's a loop like Fruit Loops on the table, and puffs, and puffs. And the dog, you can still see the dog's head. And he looks like he'd been drawing, doesn't it? There's some drawings. So before he was there, breakfast was dull, and now it's so awesome. Mom and Dad had all this useless stuff. And it shows that Mom and Dad had the sofa or a couch. They got deliveries, they had chairs, they had brooms, and they had a blanket. You can see the dog relaxing on the couch. Now we have, look what he did with the blanket. The terrific tent. Look, he used the brooms and the blanket to make a tent. A cool cave. Uh-oh, he turned the couch upside down. The fantastic fort. So he built a fort out of boxes. Have you ever built a fort at your house out of blankets or pillows or boxes? And he says, a great gate. And he's pretending the chairs are a gate. So he really turned that living room upside down, didn't he? And it says, defend the fort. And look at the dog. The dog says, that was my bed. 
So the dog's a little bit upset with the little boy. The dog is thinking, that was my bed. And the little boy stole it. And now it says, time to get ready for work and school. So now look, they're all getting ready. And the dog is thinking they are late again. I think the little boy has like pants on his head. Maybe that's why they're running late. What do you think? I don't think the dog likes the little boy so much, does he? Now we have fun riding the train. So some cities that are big have like, um, they're called subways and they look like little trains and people can ride on them. There he is, he's on his dad and mom's back. I wonder where their dog is because I don't think the dog can go on the train. Um, some of you might have rid ridden on the city bus. The city bus kind of looks the same as the train. They just uh, travel a little different. Mom and dad used to rush to work now they take forever. So look, they're dropping him off at school and look what they're doing to him. They're giving him kisses and he says, ugh, ugh. He doesn't want those hugs and kisses. Do you like hugs and kisses when you get dropped off at school? Everybody is at the office working hard now. So um, mom and dad are at their office or wherever they work. It shows mom doing something at a computer and sharpening pencils and a water, this is water cool. We have one of those in the office and mom's copying something. And then it shows uh, the little boy at school and he's drawing something on the art easel like you guys do sometimes and playing and they're reading and building blocks and playing hopscotch outside. We didn't get to do hopscotch this year because um, it was winter when we last had school. I wonder what the dog is doing during all this because they're away, but the dog doesn't go with them. At lunchtime, dad used to get A3 and mom used to get B2. So have you ever seen a vending machine? So it used to be that mom and dad got their food out of the vending machine. You put money in and then there would be food that you could buy. Um, it's not very healthy. It's called, this says food fast. Now lunch is way better. Um, Dad and mom have something called bento, which is like sushi. Um, Miss Marlene can't eat sushi, but it's dad's bento and the leftovers, look there are no leftovers. And mom's bento and that has pickles and salmon and ham and something called edamame, which is uh, like a lettuce uh, and nari. And this is his, and this is my bento. So they're all eating sushi for lunch now. Uh, my daughter really likes sushi. Have you ever had sushi? I don't eat sushi because it usually has fish in it. And Miss Marlene can't eat fish, but my daughter and my husband love sushi. And one of my sons. Uh, Kyle loves sushi, but Matthew doesn't. And then it says, nap time. Oh, and look, he's napping just like us. Oh, and look, the dog says, remember I've been wondering what the dog is doing all this time? Look at what the dog's doing. It's showing a little, a little picture of the dog. And the dog is thinking, finally. Why do you think that dog is saying finally? Now, Mom and Dad can't really nap. This person might be resting their head for a minute. But just like Miss Marlene and Miss Ahmed at work, we, we can't nap when we're at school. But you guys take a nap. So how come the dog is thinking, finally, while they're all gone? What do you think that dog is, is thinking about when they're all gone? After work, Mom and Dad used to rush home. Now we take our time through the park. So it's showing a very busy city. Um, these are called taxi cabs. They're kind of like an Uber. Some of you might be familiar with Ubers. Um, so if you don't have your own car, 
you get in this, you can get one of these instead of a train or a bus and it can take you where you need to go. And then Clear City has a big park in the middle. Um, I'm wondering if it's Central Park. I wonder if this is set in a city called New York. So they used to rush home before they had him and now they take their time and walk through the park. We explore all the fun places. Um, and so I'm not going to read all these because I can't, but like it has the different names of these things in different languages. So I bet this is ice cream, but I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, and this is like kids playing. I don't know what they're saying. Uh oh, my dogs are starting to bark. Um, this is a slide, but I don't know how to pronounce that word. And, um, Bob Haben, I think that's Swedish maybe. Uh, and then it shows like a bridge. And then it's showing other fun things to do in the park. And it has all these different languages. Stop. Hold on, we have to pause the book. Could Somebody come let the dogs out. I'm trying to record a video. John is here for this. Oh, okay. Kyle, there's a little... Oh, this is right in the middle of my video. There's like a rice steamer that opens up that he might be able to put in. Just take like it. Would you grab her? So yeah, this is all the stuff in the park that they're exploring. I'm sorry about the interruption. I, we're already 12 minutes into this book. I don't want to have to try to read it again. Now, mom and dad have tons of new friends. Who are mom and dad's new friends? I'm going to have to put her in the other room. There's a frog and a bird. The frog says ribbits. The bird says tweet. They, they just leave her. And then um, there's some seals in this park. Kind of like a zoo. So there's all kinds of animals that are mom and dad's new friends. And now they're at home. It says, we're home. And look what happens when they come home. There's everything that the boy was doing and collecting all over the floor. And the dog says, and now my floor is a mess. And the dog pulled in a broom and it does spin. So I'm wondering if uh, the reason the dog said finally is he's at home and there's no noise and he can just take a nap and relax. And as soon as the humans come home with the little boy, it's really loud. Uh, Mom and Dad's dinner used to arrive in 30 minutes or less. So look, they're getting Chinese takeout. Um, so they didn't cook it, they just ordered it. Have you ever had Chinese takeout? There's some chopsticks and some fortune cookies. Now, dinner takes longer with chefs in training. A chef is a professional cook, and so they're all learning how to cook. Um, and it says spaghetti a la dad, so dad's making spaghetti. Mom's making ramen noodles. Who's had ramen noodles? I have, and spaghetti. And he says, cod a la can. So a cod is a kind of fish, <laughs> and he's pouring it out in the can. That, that, that sounds really gross, to be honest. Um, and then there's the little dog. Mom and Dad used to read before bed. Now we all do. So there's mom and dad and the dog is under the covers and mom and dad are reading their own things, but it looks like they're on tablets instead of reading a book like this. Um, now we all do. So now look, now they have a real book and the dog looks pretty happy there and they're all cuddled up in the bed together. 
and spending family time. Do you ever cuddle with your mom and dad or your family in um, their bed? Maybe it's your brother or sister that you cuddle with and read a book. Before I arrived, life was pretty, pretty humdrum. That means boring. So there, there's mom and dad. They're just kind of relaxing a lot with the dog. And now, look at all the things they're doing with the little boy. They're a lot more active now that they have the little boy. They're swimming and swinging and drawing. Now it's pretty awesome. And look, they're swinging the dog and the boy on the swings instead of just sitting on the bench. The end. So this book was all about how life is for people before they have kids and how it changes. And sometimes it might seem pretty, pretty crazy when the kids come, but really it's kind of fun. So I, you could ask your mom or dad or your other family members what it was like before you were born. What was life like for them before you, you were born? Um, that's a good question to ask them. Um, that's the end of the book. What did you think of the book? Tell a family member if you liked it or you didn't like it. You don't always have to like the books that I like. Um, but I'm glad we get to read them together like this. I miss you guys a lot. Bye.